Hi and welcome to the last lesson of this workshop, which is going to be the main logic of all of the program. Um, let me say something before we start. So if you notice, all of this is just confusing if you're a beginner like I am. I am a beginner, so understanding all of this was complex at first. I was lucky to understand what a binary writer was what a stream is, and what raw means, all of this, use HTTP requests. You have to master all of that before starting to scrap the web. But I came across this snippet by googling how to download a, an image with Python. So when I first started creating this project, I googled this. And I came, I came across this and this and started doing my research. I first came across this snippet, which is a URL. This is a different library than requests. It was simpler. I used some like this. But when I used this, it worked in most projects. But when I came across the Manga Reader project, it returned a 403 server request, which is forbidden. So I scratched my head and I started to think, what, what, what can I do? Is there any other option? And yes, I... F oh yeah, it was this open WB raw decode content should you copy object. So this is this was the snippet that I copied and pasted in my project. So. You can check all of the rest of the answers and experiment with them if you're working on something similar that's using image downloads. But for now, we, we keep this snippet because it works. Okay, let's begin to write our manga.py file, which is the main file. We need to do some imports. Let's start by importing beautiful soup. So we import beautiful soup, which is a library that we installed in the first video. We're going to import this and rename it BS. So we don't have to type all of this. We just type BS dot and the method we are interested in. We import all of these three modules that we created. So let's do something. This will be the global constants and variables. This is the requesting and downloading. And this is the string utility helpers, as we described here. After that, we just import sys, which is a Python library that we don't have to install. It's already installed in Python. This is going to help us grab the arguments that we passed to the terminal. For example, this is an argument, this is another argument, this is an argument, but we're not inter interested in this, we're just interested in this. So this is the first argument, the second, and the third. Index 0, 1, and 2, so we're interested in the sys.rgb uh, array, only the index first and index second, which in turn will be the first, I mean the second parameter and the third one. So let's declare a function called download episode. We're going to accept a series name and an episode number. So let's keep it empty for now and let's call the function and we're going to pass sys.rgv, the second I, the second parameter that we sent with the terminal, and the third one. So let's 
So run the main function and pass the second and third arguments. So let's create our main function, which is the, which is the main logic of all of this project. So what we're what we need to do first is declare current page equals initial page. So if you remember, it's here in the settings, <coughs> and I set it default to one. So we need the download path. We can set it to get download path, pass the series name and the episode number. So this is going to call this function and assemble the download path. And we need to check if the episode is not released yet. We just need to return nothing and therefore exit the program. So exit the function if the episode hasn't been released yet. So we just check if we call the function called not released yet, which is if it's here not released yet is a function that returns a boolean. So if not released yet, we need to pass the series name and the episode number. So we print sorry this message non released message so this episode hasn't been released yet sorry mate and then after we printed the message we return noun and the function is going to stop here and the program will finish so if it's indeed released and we can download something well, we create a an infinite loop, a while loop that loops through the pages until the last one. So we set the page URL to be get page URL. So we assemble it. We pass the series name, the episode number, the current page. So let's open up Manga Reader. Okay, so the page URL is going to look something like this with the HTTP at the beginning. And then we need the request. We send the page URL that we assembled here. And we can access the raw HTML. So raw HTML equals request.txt. Then if the page or manga doesn't, what will happen? Well, if request the status goes isn't 200 200 means success which means there's something or not so why we, why do we do this okay so we established in the strategy file that uh, where is it mm -hmm. Well, if the, if the manga doesn't exist, let's screw something here. You see, there's nothing. And if we, if we check the source code, there's nothing actually. So if there's no raw HTML, it means 
that the manga doesn't exist and if it and if, and if the server isn't 200 it means the page doesn't exist so if either of two cases happen we print So if it happens that the manga doesn't exist because there's no link to the ray to the raw HTML, we print this doesn't exist message, the series doesn't exist in the database. Else it means that the pet that the uh, oh it means that there's no page because we reach the end. So we print the success message. So the episode has been successfully downloaded. So after that, we break the loop to exit it. So this break is going to exit the while loop. And since there's nothing after the while loop in the function, it's going to finish the script overall. So let's do the fun part, which is scrap the HTML to find the pages img link I mean okay so the parse HTML is we call the BS which is the beautiful sub module we pass in the raw HTML and we need to use a parser and beautiful soup includes an HTML parser. We can start finding the URL in the HTML by using the parsed HTML. Dot find method. So this BS is going to create a uh, dictionary that has a find method. And this, I mean, an object and the find method is going to keep looking. Okay, let's imagine I'm in the first page. So if we check the HTML, beautiful soup is going to parse the HTML, it's going to beautify it and store it, different objects which correspond to each tag and their information. So I want to find just one image that matches a certain criteria we, we want to find this image tag that has an id of img so we can grab the source property or attribute which is the link that we're going to download into the hard drives so find an img element in the html that has an ID of IMG and we want to get the source attribute which is a string that contains the link to the image so we save the page's image in the download path so we call the download IMG. Uh, it, it was called download image, right? So image IMG. Like we pass the IMG URL, the download path, and the current page. And in the end, we change the current page to the next one. So we say current page equals current page plus one. Sorry. So this is what's going to happen. We grab this information, which is the series name and the episode number, pass it in, execute the function. So the current page is going to be one. Download path is going to be. Uh, 
this plus the series name plus the episode number and the slash it's going to to check the html to see if it was released then it's going to create a infinite loop that it only will exit if the episode doesn't exist or we reach the last page plus one which doesn't exist uh, we need to send the request we store the html so we parse it we find an image with an id of img <clears throat> so we get the source we download it with this function in the requests file. This is going to save it in the hard drive. And then we increment the current page so that instead of one, it's <coughs> two and then three and so on, downloading this image, then this image. And when we reach the last page it's going to download the last page but what happens if we increment to 35 okay 31 and then uh, we access the 32 it says 404 not found so it sends a 404 server response it intercepts with this if statement and breaks the loop so we exit okay we finished so let's see if it works we're going to download the 400 episode of Naruto in the documents folder invalid syntax mm, ah, I missed the colon sorry Oh, I found a mistake. It says number here, but I only typed number. Okay, let's try again. It works, so we can check here. It's created a Naruto folder, a 400 folder, and it's downloaded all of the images. So it works. All right, and you see it has trailing zeros. Just one, two zeros, and then one zero, and then. Well, since this episode doesn't reach a hundred episodes or more, we can see it in effect. It says this episode has been successfully downloaded, so we need to check also. We screw. If we screw the name, what will happen? The series doesn't exist in the database. Okay, let's check an episode that hasn't been released yet and will never be released. This episode hasn't been released yet, sorry. Okay, what happens then? If we... If we change this to false, just to show you what happens, You see, it's not, it's not downloading anything because it's it's not a stream, so it's important that you use a true here. I think this is all for today. And see you in the next series. See you around, and if you have a question, leave it in the comment section.